Hello YouTube, I want to do a um, scan IC replacement. Um, here's a business card if you guys have any questions. Uh, scan IC uh, replacement from a, a plasma buffer. This will apply to any buffer. Um, what I did initially is just um, by just use my uh, fingernail and remove all the adhesive on all the sides. I turned on my iron and um, at a high temperature, not iron, I mean a hot air station, high temperature, apply a little bit of heat to the IC. <clears throat> Just get it to warm up just a little bit. I made uh, three attempts and I've gotten better every time. But I'm going to share with you what's the best way to do this. At least it worked for me. I hope it will work for you. It's not an easy job. It really requires a, a skilled technician to do this. But <clears throat> all I did here is um, applied some heat to the IC, get some um, flux, apply it to all four sides. Okay. Um, I should have had my iron plugged in, but I didn't. Should warm up pretty quick. I have a, a Weller 40 watts iron. <clears throat> While we're waiting for the iron to warm up, I want to show you here. I completely charcoaled the board because I applied too much heat. Here, there's a, a little improvement, better improvement, and here's another improvement. What I tried to do over here is um, just simply apply heat and lift the chip up and I end up destroying traces. Uh, what I did over here, I actually used the razor blade and cut all the legs off uh, the IC and just simply wedged um, uh, my thin tweezers in one of the corners and lifted the IC and uh, that, would, that happened rather quickly. And um, I went back and slowly cleaned up the, the legs and all the adhesive by using um, flux and solder and um, here's another one. One thing you guys need to pay attention to that these ICs are, uh, here's the actual IC if you guys can see it, that's the bottom of it. There's um, a solder pad on the bottom and uh, that's what you really need to apply your uh, heat right in the middle. Anyways, uh, so here's my third attempt and it is it is pretty decent and um, here's the one that we're doing right now. So what I actually did with this is um, you guys seen the first two steps. So what I did, I you want to get a brand new razor blade, something that's really really sharp, and then just simply come start up here and just cut the legs off. You want to be careful. not to slip off of the edge because you might cut traces on the board. When you're doing the cutting, you want to kind of come in at an angle facing toward the IC. This way you're not um, cutting any traces. It's very important to have a sharp and a brand new razor blade. Now you kind of want to go backwards on this. Okay. All right. 
Okay. And now we want to go opposite direction. Okay. Okay. Um, I usually like to solder the, I mean, um, apply a little bit of uh, solder to the pins just to get it to loosen up. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, my screws are falling off. I got a hot air, I mean not hot air, I got a hot iron over here. It's a 40 watt weller. It's uh, allowed the heat to uh, dissipate quicker on this. Okay, just kind of go back and forth, loosen up the adhesive and... Uh, All right, and then come back here, do the same on all four sides. Okay, do the same to the last side here, the fourth side. All right, get a pair of tweezers, real thin one. <clears throat> I got hot air on max heat, which is about 450, 480. Just come in here in one corner. You just apply heat right to the center. What I'm trying to do is get this uh, center pad to uh, melt. You have to be patient, don't rush it. You can see the IC starting to lift right here. All right, so here's the IC. Set that aside. Turn off the hot air. Come back with an iron. Apply a little more flux. All right, grab your um, hot iron and just kind of go forward with this. This way you're not damaging the um, traces. If 
anybody knows of a good way to get rid of this adhesive completely, perhaps by uh, using a, some uh, type of a solution, I would like to uh, for you guys to share that with me because this adhesive makes it extremely difficult. That epoxy insulation that they put around the, uh, the pins. I usually like my videos to be short, but this one is going to take a little more time than I normally use. Make sure you do go in one direction, this way you're not ruining the contacts. Go in the same direction as the traces. All right, that's pretty much. We're gonna stop at this point here and just do some cleaning. <clears throat> A little bit of uh, alcohol, 99%. Just do a little bit of cleaning here. <clears throat> I'll uh, show you guys a close-up. Here's the finished result. Hopefully you guys can get a good shot of this. But all the pins are good and the board is not damaged and uh, solder and IC back on here is, should be pretty simple. I will do another video how to install the, video, uh, the, um, the new scan IC on this buffer. Uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Please uh, like and subscribe if this video had helped you. Thank you.